All right, so a few sections back, we installed and configured Yoast. We looked at all the global configurations and set, set it to what um, is considered optimal. Now we want to look at the individual post options that we have. So I'm in the uh, home office organization post that we've been looking at. And if we go down, you see this box here. This, this wasn't here. Uh, before we installed Yoast, okay, so uh, there's quite a few things that you can do in this box. Uh, one really cool thing is this snippet preview. This actually shows you exactly what your result in Google would look like um, for this actual for this post. So we have our title, which is the same as the page title. If we go in the front end, we hover over this. You can see that's the page title. Uh, the title is a little long. I think that we should take out the work for home just to make this look a little cleaner and make it a little shorter. And you can do that right from this SEO title. And it even changes while you type. And I, I would actually probably rather write work from home uh, because that's a really that's a really good keyword so home of home office organization and then work from home or the other way around uh, and then the focus keyword we want to be for this art this post we want to be home office organization okay and then right after we put that in, this, the, the, these few lines of text pop up and tells us some information about our focus keyword. Now, the first one is article heading. So yes, it's found in the article heading. The page title, yes, there's one in the heading. Page URL, yes. Content, yes, has three instances, which isn't bad. Um, and then the meta description has one occurrence of this of this keyword so this is a this is a well optimized post um, going on this particular keyword uh, the description you can leave this if you want which is just I believe it's the just the beginning of the article um, I'm actually gonna post in an optimized description Okay, so let me tell you what's optimized about this. So first of all, it says working from home is a privilege, but it can get messy. This article will give you some tips on home office organization. Now, the first reason that this is a, is a good description is it doesn't, it doesn't go past the character limit for descriptions. Um, a lot of times you'll see uh, half of a, a paragraph with some dots at the end uh, it's just not a complete, it doesn't show it all. So you want to have something that's short enough to be able to, to display all the content, but at the same time, um, it, you want it to, to describe your content well. Uh, the next reason is we have our focus keyword, which is home office organization. And then we also have working from home, which is another uh, popular phrase or keyword so that's good as well and let's see it also matches basically matches your page title as well with the the focus keyword and I guess we'll say working from home uh, just because we have that in the description you know that's not needed but it's just something that I like to do so that pretty much gives us our our snippet um, Let's just save this article. I want to see if it updates in the front end. So if I reload and I hover over this, we have our title that we created. If we do a control U and view the source code, we can see our description. Okay. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, we don't have any meta keywords, but that they're really not important. Um, they're not used for anything, so I wouldn't worry about that. 
So let's see what else we have here. All right, so if we click on page analysis, it actually gives us a rundown of what uh, what we have that is optimized for SEO, what, what's kind of optimized that could use some work, and then what definitely isn't. So we only have one red mark, which is uh, it's an important thing that we're missing. So this says you have not used your keyword or key phrase in any subheading such as an H2 in your copy. All right, so let's take a look at our, so our focus keyword is uh, home office organization. So we have a lot of headings with the word home office. We could make that our, our focus keyword, but that's really common. You want to try to keep, you want your keywords to be uh, common enough so that someone will search for them. Uh, but not so common where you have a ton of competition and it'll be impossible to get anywhere near the first page. Uh, let's see, portable home. Now we can change this here, portable home office organizers to port portable home office organization. So let's see what that does. If we save this and go down to page analysis, now that's gone. That red mark is gone. So right now, we're pretty good. Uh, we can further optimize. Uh, let's see this. The keyword density is 82%, which is a bit low. The keyword was found four times. So it's telling us that our keyword density is a little low. We could add it to a few more. We could add it one or two more times to make it a little op more optimized. Now we have when you work from home, Office organization sometimes falls to the bottom of the. Let's see. Get rid of clutter. And have better organization. So let's update that and see what we got. All right, so that that um, potential uh, negative is gone. Let's see, the slug for this page is a bit long. Consider shortening it. Um, I'm not going to pay attention to that one. The the images on this page do not have alt tags containing your keyword. That's a that's an important one, um, and it's important really because it's so easy to do. So we just want to add a, an alt tag. So let's edit this image and alternative text just says home one I mean home two so let's say uh, home home office organization update and let's update the post okay so the copy score is six five in the flash reading he says. All right, so the copy score is sixty five, which isn't too bad. So I'm gonna leave that. Um, this page has one outbound link, all no followed. Okay, so let's get rid of the no follow link. Actually, let's just get rid of that whole line that we created last section. All right, so now it says no outbound links appear in this page. So let's actually put that back. Obviously, you'll, you're going to write some posts that don't have outbound links, and that's fine. I'm just trying to get this as optimized as possible. So I'm going to leave the, the no follow attribute. All right, so this is a pretty well optimized page as far as SEO. So that's all set. Advanced, we have some things about the robots file. 
uh, we can make it no follow same thing we really went over this stuff back in the robots um, section include an HTML sitemap we'll leave that to auto detect social now again we saw some of this in the global configurations of Yoast uh, we can have our own Facebook description if we want to post this act this post uh, and we can even upload our the image that we want to be used and we can also change our Google Plus description alright so there's some really uh, really helpful options with this this SEO plugin there's really not much more that you can do to a site to optimize it so that's a that's a highly optimized WordPress blog post